Hey everybody, this is Alpha Aizuru coming at you with another figure review. This time I'll be taking a look at the Robot Damashi Side LFO Devilfish from the TV series Psalms of Planets Eureka 7 and the film Eureka 7 Pocketful of Rainbows. A uh, little backstory the Devilfish was the end of series upgrade for the leader of Gecko State, the rebel uh, force, Holland Novak. Uh, it is one of the oldest LFOs known. Uh, it it kind of goes into that classic mecha cliche of uh, being the oldest but also the most powerful sort of thing. Uh, in the show The Nirvash, which is like the main mecha, was the, the first LFO ever uncovered slash created, but the Devilfish was sort of older, which is kind of exemplified by its black and white screens, despite all like the crazy beam weaponry it has, but that's just getting into stuff that's really not important to the review. So, uh, into the box, you know, it's your typical robot damashi, uh, red stripe. The, the face of the box is green, um, as opposed to the black of the Lancelot Albion. So I have to wonder if different robot series have, uh, different colors. So, uh, again, nice window on the top and on the front, wraps around the side. Picture the devilfish right here. Uh, again, Robot Damashi. This is n uh, the 34th in the series. Keep going, blah, blah, blah. On the back, we've got a nice shot of the uh, devilfish with its ref board out. Uh, some more shots. Let me just bring this up here. Some more shots. Um, it in storage mode. All, most of the LFOs in the series can transform into some sort of like vehicle mode, but this one can't, even though it does have the wheels on the... Um, feet right there, uh, sort of like a uh, nightmare frame. I'm not exactly sure, but actually I don't think so. Uh, this was designed by Shoji Kawamori um, from Macross fame, but I don't think he did the designs for the nightmare frames in Code Geass, but they look very, very similar. So that's just something to note. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the figure. So here we have the Devilfish. Whoops, Daisy. The uh, Robot Damashi Devilfish. It's uh, about the same height as the Lancelot Albion. I think all of these Robot Damashis are the same height. Uh, colors, it's a nice uh, silver. Uh, and then like a matte black and some red. Simple, but effective. I think it looks quite good. So, articulation. We'll start at the top. The cannons on these wings will go all the way around, and they don't move in and out at all. The head is on a ball joint. We'll rotate all the way around. Let's just bring this up here. We'll rotate all the way around. We'll move forward and backward, and then up and down, although that very, like the back of this crest kind of makes it difficult to, you know, move it up and down so much. Shoulders go up and down, in and out, very good. Rotate, whoops a daisy. Um, what did we lose? Oh goodness. Sorry folks. Give me one second. And of course I put it in wrong. Well, we'll get to that later in the accessories. Um, yeah, shoulders can go all the way around. These flaps on the shoulders can move are on ball joints, so they rotate up and down anywhere you want. Elbows. We'll rotate 360, or under the shoulder we'll rotate 360. Elbows will bend that far, not great, but okay. This little piece of accoutrement on the arm will rotate all the way around. I do not believe this is a weapon. Um, I mean, it could rotate forward and you've got a little like sword thing there, but I think it's just an accessory, or uh, like a little piece of kibble. And the hand is on a ball, will rotate all the way around. Chest. 
will it's on a ball right here uh, but like the Lancelot it won't spin all the way around um, but that's still okay and we'll go up and down legs will rotate all the way around of course go that far out so pretty good knees bend that far pretty good these little side pieces on the feet will are on little balls so they'll go all over these fall off all the time and I'm sure they're gonna fall off during this review so just be warned wheels do spin and the feet are really nice or in the wheels can also the wheel and the foot is kind of connected by this single black piece right here so the foot can go up and pop off you can see how it's connected by a ball there just plugs right back in and the foot's on a ball whoa see see I told ya and these just a little peg fits in like that okay accessories let's just and get this guy to stand up. It's a little back heavy. Just a little. Okay, maybe a lot. Okay, so first of all, we come with an extra head with green eyes as opposed to the red ones on the original. I believe, I've not seen the film, but I believe the devil fish in the film has green eyes as opposed to the red ones on the TV version. I've heard horrible things about the film. I love the TV show. It was the first full anime I had ever seen. Um, so I'm kind of trying to avoid the film. Uh, what else we got? We got two closed fists, and they just plug right in. Nice. Probably won't be using them. We get... Now, you saw before, this popped off the devil fish, and you can see there's one on each side. Uh, there's a little part swapping here and you can swap out that part for this which is like an active suite of homing lasers that can shoot out of the devil fish's wing so you can just pop these pieces off like so two little pegs two little pegs and just pop them right in I hope Come on. Oh, you're gonna be that way, huh? Oh, you're just so funny. Oh, come on. Well, you get the idea. What else do we get? Now, the Devilfish's main accessory is its ref board. And it comes in these pieces. So, we get the two side pieces, which are consistent throughout, and you get one joined middle piece and two pieces for connecting to the hips. So these hip connector pieces, you can see on the side pieces of the ref board, this would be the, the side facing up and then the bottom. It has these six holes. Now, these two holes right here, there's two holes on this collapsed version, they just plug right in as so and then there's one peg sticking out and then there's a hole on the devilfish's hip you just plug that in and there you go and that can rotate all the way around now that's it in its stored mode and then the other one would go on the other hip with the other connector piece now for actually having the devilfish on the board we just take that off Disconnect that. Now we take this main connector piece and we just slot it in as so. Now this ref board is huge! Maybe twice the height of the figure itself. Now, in order to connect into the ref board, the devil fish has these little tabs on the bottom of his feet that flip out and then click into place like that and there's one on each side on each foot so we've got the two feet with the peg sticking out and then you just peg him into whatever holes you want on the rough board 
Now they don't really like click or anything, so and they they are kind of prone to fall out, so you got to be kind of careful. But there you go. On his ref board. Now, if you want him displayed with the ref board, I suppose you could have him flat on the ground. But that's pretty much the lamest thing ever. Now, as I mentioned in my Lancelot Albion review, with these robot damashis, especially the ones I've bought, you really want to stand. And I cannot stress enough how great the Damashi Stage Act 5s are. And I, again, I will be doing them in a future review. But here is the one I use with the Devilfish. Clear. It's got a little, you know, pincer grip thing there going on there. And all I do is I just hook that around the waist of the Devilfish. Close it up. And instantly, just move the camera up a bit. Instantly, that is way better. So, final thoughts. Devilfish, fantastic. Uh, I, uh, since the uh, Lancelot Albion was kind of my first introduction to the Robot Damashi line, there was none of that, you know, learning curve, so to speak, in um, getting this figure. As soon as I took it out of the box, I, I fell in love with it. The quality was great. Again, it does have some problems with parts falling off here and there and it it really doesn't come with any accessories like even as mecha go it doesn't have any all the weapons are on the suit itself or the LFO itself you know it's just got those two big laser cannons and then the homing lasers if you so choose to display them open um but overall I think it's a fantastic figure. I got it on sale at Hobby Link Japan. I paid about 15 bucks for it. Uh, with ELS shipping, that came out to about 30 which is still less than I paid for the Lancelot Albion. And I, I, this was my favorite design from Eureka 7. Uh, and even though I got started with Gundam very early, but that's a, that's a story for an entirely different day, Eureka 7 was the first full anime TV show that I saw and I fell in love with it and I love the design of the Devilfish and so finally here it is sitting at my desk. So uh, this is a definite must buy if you're a big Eureka 7 fan, if you're a big Robot Damashi fan. Uh, so if you've got any questions, comments, or concerns leave me a comment down below or subscribe. And uh, my next review will either be the Robot Robot Damashi Lancelot Stage Act 5, or my most recent gun plot kit, the Master Grade Mark II Titans version 2.0 HD color version. So if there's one in particular you'd like to see, uh, leave me a comment. For now, just take it easy guys, and uh, I'll see you next time.